Welcome back to Crankus Corner. We got a box of call time here. It's gonna be the last box, unless some product magically falls out of the air into our laps before Strixhaven. This is the last box we're gonna crack and open for some lovely sponsors. So we have six people there lined up for the gauntlet today. Not really much of a gauntlet, but we're cracking packs for them. We got Brandon, Devin, Graylin, Justin, Robert, and David who are taking some packs out of this box today. Are we gonna pull a Vorinclex, maybe a Valky out of here, maybe some extra gods. So I hope we get something spicy for all of them. We are also gonna be spinning the wheel. And one of these six people is gonna be taken home. This pack fresh Tarmogoy from Time Spiral Remastered. So that'll be cool. I hope that uh, whoever gets it, of course, is going to enjoy it and everything. Um, so that's really cool. That'll be at the end of the video. So um, without further ado, thank you guys. If you like the content, let's start off with that. Please give us a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. It helps out a lot. Uh, and if you enjoy this, a couple things. You can always subscribe to the channel so you get notified. Push hit that bell when we are doing other things like opening some more packs. Uh, doing deck techs, etc. So, if you'd like to be involved with that, you can always shoot us an email in the description down below or just leave a comment in the video as well. And that's how some of the people got involved with this one today. Um, Graylin actually was on our TikTok. And Robert as well. Graylin and Robert both contacted us through TikTok for packs today. So, that's really cool. It means it's the first time actually some people from TikTok have come over. So, that's pretty sweet. So thank you guys again, and uh, we'll take all these packs out, and I'm hoping for spicy stuff for everybody. Uh, let's hope we can pull all the Planeswalkers, let's get a Valkyrie, let's get a Vorinclex out of here. Since it'll be our last call time box probably for some time, until people start wanting to see some old stuff again. So, alright, so here's our packs, looking good there. So let's start getting them all shuffled up, and we talked about what else is coming up here. So... We just posted a deck tech today as well. If you didn't get a chance to check that, check that out. Please do so. We greatly appreciate your input about the decks. Uh, it was Gishath, Sun's Avatar. So if you're a Naya player, it is a great deck to play. Plus it's dinosaurs, Jurassic Park themes, things like that. Uh, it's very much fun. And maybe some other stuff on the channel that you would enjoy as well. So take a look at that as you, if you'd like. Uh, shoot us an email if you want to see anything particular done, or if you want to open up anything specifically. Hard, trying to reach out for some other product here and there. Strixhaven, of course, is going to be very big. Uh, we've got plenty of product on that, so if you want to open some packs with us for that, we've got that coming up. Lots of good stuff. More deck packs. Uh, we do votes on TikTok and etc. for the various deck packs of things you want to see. Or you can do so on here and just leave what you'd like to see. So there's all sorts of ways you can reach out to us um, to do some different things. So uh, we try to do some unique stuff here and there too. We like to do giveaways, like to do little fun mini contests and things. Just, you know, keep it fresh. So there's a nice shuffle there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into cracks and specs, guys. So let's start off with, start off with Justin today. So Justin's got four packs out of the pile here. And let's get cracking and see what he's got. All right, Justin, I hope you're watching this when this goes uh, up, uploaded for you so you can see what you got here. Uh, at some point, we'll be able to go live, which would be cool. Ooh, backwards pack, so there's the dragon in the front. So these are obviously not printed within the country. They're probably printed in Belgium, if I had to guess. So we'll start in the back. We're going to quickly go through just a couple packs of all the cards just to give everybody that quick little refresh of all the good stuff that was in Kaldheim as a kind of a farewell till we go into Strixhaven. So... Seize the Spoils, Best Gear Shield Mate, Anul, Death Knell Berserker, Brine Barrow Intruder, Elderleaf Mentor, backwards packs always mess me up, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Breakneck Berserker, Mists of Litjara, Iron Verdict, that looks like he's having a bad day, Port of Carfell, Inga Runai, she's fun, I like her alternate art, Frenzied Raider, Ooh, Elvish Warmaster is our first rare of the box. This is a good elf staple card. Uh, it's see some great play. And then there's our land. So there's pack one for Justin. Go to pack two. We'll go, like I said, we'll go over this one more time here. The comes and uncommons, and we start cranking through them a bit quicker. Invoke the Divine, Craven Hulk, Beskier Shieldmate, Dread Rider, Shimmerdrift Veil, Masked Vandal. Coma's Faithful, Litjara, Kin Seekers, Dwarven Reinforcements, Frostpeak Yeti, 
Arnie slays the troll. Replication ring. Replicating ring, rather. Path to the world tree. And a rare's blessings of frost. Which has, of course, Jorn on it. And the snow card force to go with it. So that's the second pack there for Justin. And we're going to start cranking through them now. So I everybody remembers what's in call time and how good it was. So we'll just pull the commons out here. And start in right here. Right here. There we go. Maja, Bredegard Protector. She's a good, uh, like, buffer of your people. I think she's a little expensive at five, but I think she can see some play. Ooh, Finn the Fang Bear. Everybody wants Finn. If you don't have a Finn, it's a good time to pick him up. You've seen a lot of decks. Death Touch. Then we got Glimpse the Cosmos. And the rare is, ooh, Showcase Halvar right there. Very nice. Let's get that at sleeve for you right away, Justin. There's our Halvar, God of Battle. I like the alternate art of this uh, more than I like the original. This is, the, of course, the Norse art. So that's really cool. So that will be in the sleeve there for you. And Snow Cover Swamp. So that's a nice little way to go in there, Justin. Hope you enjoy that Halvar if you don't already have one. Um, I think I finally got all the gods now. And when I mean all the gods, I mean literally all the gods now. So I can finally focus and try to finish my five-color god deck. So Halvar was my last one. All right, let's get into the last pack for Justin. Should be right around here. Turgrid Shadows, our first uncommon. Then we have As Axgard Armory. Not Asgard, but Axgard. Then we have Saw It Coming. And our rare is the Tyrae Sanctum. Uh, I Tyrae Sanctum, I know, is pretty common for the rares, but I feel like it does have its place. Um, Turgrid Legendary becomes a god just to its other type, and you get its counter. Um, and then sacrifice tyrant put an indestructible counter on target god. So I think there's some things we can do with that. And ooh, a foil snow covered swamp. So that's a nice way to end there for the foil. So, Justin, those are your four packs today. Thank you again for jumping in and sponsoring those for us before we get into the Strict Haven madness that will certainly be coming. All right, let's go right into Robert. Let's get some random packs here for Robert. So we got. Three Nico Irises and two Tavar Kells. And let's start right off with the camera out here a little bit. Sorry, shaky a little bit. Table's a little wobbly and uh, kind of does that sometimes because everything's kind of close by. Okay, here we go. Pack number one for Robert. Ooh, tricky pack to open. Sometimes means good things. All right, I like that token. That's cool. Demon Berserker. Okay, uncommons, we've got Bloody Blood Sky Berserker, Frenzied Raider, Rune of Sustenance, and our rare is ooh, Showcase Bergy. Very nice. Bergy, the god of storytelling. That's super cool with the Harnfell Horn of Bounty. I like that. It's kind of like a you know, this god that sits down and tells all these stories of all the great things that have happened. So very cool. Nice alternate art. If you don't have that, Robert, I hope you enjoy that. Nice way to start the first pack there for you. All right. And here we go with the commons. Here we go. Certland Frostpire. Rune of Speed. Forging the Tyrite Sword, which of course led to the death of Cole. And then we have Waking the Trolls for your rare. And Grizzled Outrider as a foil. Very nice. The bear's eyes are very bright in that. That's cool. And Sulphur Smire and the Treasure Token. That's pack two. Robert, let's get into pack three here. Let's see if we can pull something spicy for you. Like, Bergy was nice and fun. Meow. There's the kitty cat for you. And here we go with the commons real quick. I love Gold Vein Pick. I think there's a lot uh, potential with that card. Be able to create the treasure tokens. All right. Uncommons. Here we go. Ermersturm Skull Cairn. Say that three times fast. Return Upon the Tide, Carter's Vicious Return, and your rare is Dragon Dragonkin Berserker. I like this card a lot. 2-2 two, two for 2 with First Strike already was good. But then Boast Abilities, you activate, costs one less to activate for each dragon you control. So if you start even using just a little bit of boast in your deck, uh, it can help. But then you can boast for it and then create dragons, so that's kind of cool. I think it's a fun card. All right, let's get into pack number four for you. Hope we can get a Vornclex for somebody. I heard you can get the uh, Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexian Showcase foil in regular packs, so let's do it. 
And your commons, of course, for the pack. Rootless U is your first uncommon. Skemfar Elder Hall. And Rune of Flight. And your rare. Ooh, hey, there we go. There's a Mythic Showcase. Or uh, technically it's a Foretell because all the Foretell cards are the ones with the extended art there for you. So there's your Mythic right there. That's nice. Quake Bringer. Really cool. I like the art on that. It's very uh, Constellation almost looking. and uh, I think it's really cool. Nice one. Good way to go there. All right, Robert, let's get to your last pack here and get some extra spicy for the end. Okay. And here's your commons. Narfi, Betrayer King, for your first uncommon. I like the alternate art on this better than I like the original art. I think it's so much cooler because he already looks dead here. I think that's super cool. The other one, he doesn't look dead at all. Then we have Doomscar Titan. Spectral Steel and your rare. Ooh, Nico Aris. You got another mythic. You got back to back mythics in the end there. Very nice. You got the regular art, Nico Aris. It's a good way to go. Very, very nice. So, Robert, there was your five packs. Get your double mythic in there. So, congratulations to you on that one. Well, let's go off to Brandon now. Grab his five packs for him. And of course, we've got Graylin and David as well. So we'll put them in the next stack. All right. And Brandon, five packs for you. Hopefully, again, we get something spicy for you here as well. Let's start off with Kaya. Let's see what we get for you here. I like that token. That's a good one. Replicating ring. Sculptor of Winter, Frostbite, here we go. Okay, Glimpse the Cosmos, Port of Carfell, Carter's Vicious Return again, and your rare is In Search of Greatness. Nice. This is going up in value finally. People won't stop sleeping on it so much. You know, it'll be all... It, I feel like it's the, like the living birthing pod, so I think this will keep going up in price. It's a great, great card. Combine the two, and you've got a really kind of outstanding combo, so very nice. That's your pack one there. All right, pack two. Okay, on commons, we've got Spirit of Aldergaard, little bear spirit there. Great Hall of Starnheim. Fall of the Imposter, which if you look real close here, you can see the two of them, Tavar and Kaya, trying to get to the sword, and then there's Tabalt falling. Now, we don't know if that's the end of the story or not, but maybe he... I don't know. Who knows? And then here we go. There we go. Cosma, the God of Foyage, which is really cool. I like the alternate art. There's more dolphins in it. I think it looks really cool, but this is cool too. Really nice. That's a good pull. I think all the gods are really nice in this set. So pack two for you. Rolling on pack three. I always forget sometimes that these can just open by the pull tab since they weren't printed here. And I always forget that. All right. So here's our commons. Tormentor's Helm. And let's see what we've got for uncommons here. Frost Augur. Trickster God's Heist. As you can see the story there. Oh, can you make me this sword? Yeah, sure. Stab you in the back. Thanks for the sword. Bye. That's how it went. Rune of Sustenance. Ooh. Hengegate Pathway. Full art or extended art or every, all the arts. Look at that. That's awesome with the runes on the trees. And the Mist Gate Pathway side, that's nice. We'll get that in the sleeve for you right away. Put the white side out front here. It's cool. Very nice. Good job on that pull there for you. And the Sulphurus Mire and Elf Token at the end there. So some good start there for you. Brandon, I hope you're able to watch this when it goes live. Well, not live, but, you know, semi-live. As soon as I hit the uh, stop button, I immediately upload. So it's usually 20, 30 minutes after that, depending. All right, let's flip through your tokens here. Ooh, I love the Scarecrows. It's another card to put into the Scarecrow decks. Forging the Tyrite Sword, Fearless Liberator, Avalanche Caller, and your rare, Bears of Bale Star Galactica, and a Shiny Shimmer Drift Veil. That looks cool. It took almost like the Aurora Borealis in the art there. Okay, very nice. 
So there's your pile there. And last pack for you, Brandon. And let's hope we can go out with something spicy for you. There's that. Your commons. Frost Auger, Ascent the Worthy, Colossal Plow, and Foul Rare, Icebre Icebreaker Kraken. Ooh, with a shiny undersea invader. Very nice. Well, this cast for each snow lane to control. So you could come in for two if you wanted. Artifacts, creatures, card pose, don't tap their next players. Untap, return three snow lane to control. Hmm, yeah, you could do some shenanigans with that, I guess. All right, very nice. So, Brandon, those are your five packs there. Put you off to the side. And let's go ahead and get Devin his pack. So, let's see. If I was Devin, let's see. We'll just give him another crazy little shuffle here for him. And then grab one from the middle of all of it. Okay, Devin, let's go with this one for you. And then we'll count out the other two. Ones. So, five... Six, seven, eight, nine for Graylin, and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for David. So those are already set aside for us too. All right, very cool. So, Devin, here's your pack. Thanks again for coming by for us, and we hope you enjoy the content. All right, here's your commons: Raven Form, Elder Fang, and. Another bear. Watch out for that guy biting you. Okay, here's our uncommons. Spirit of Aldergard. Kaya's onslaught, where we think she was going to kill Vornclex, but she doesn't defeat him at all. Fall the Imposter, and your rare is King Narfi's Betrayal, which I like the art. Look at the face on this. It reminds me of some Marvel. Reminds me of uh, partially of Thanos with the uh, gold and purple. But it also reminds me of, uh, I can't remember the name of them, but the people who we saw before Thanos, they were kind of like the bad guys, but that's what it reminds me of. So, Devin, there's your pack for you. I'll get that out to you. And let's go into Graylin. And Graylin is a first-timer for us here at Krenko's Corner. So he uh, he asked to see if he get some packs, and so we happily obliged. He came over from TikTok, so... Thank you. That's the like, first time we've had people from TikTok come over, so that's pretty cool. All right, so here's your nine packs today. Let's get right into crack and form and see what you got. And hopefully pull something really nasty and spicy for you. I mean, we've already got double mythics and a pathway, but it's always possible we can get some more. And here's your commons out of your first pack. And Invasion of the Giants. Boreal Outrider. Vengeful Reaper, and your rare is Showdown of the Scalds. So that's your first rare of your pack. Pack two for you. Okay, your commons. Ooh. All right, uncommons, Icebind Pillar. Usher of the Fallen. There's Agar the Freezing Flame peeking his head out. And we still have a couple left here, so it means we're going to have a shiny. There we go. The World Tree. Very nice. Nice pull there. The World Tree. As long as you can go six or more lands. Land you control of add one man of any color. And this can go in five color decks. Sacrifice it. Get any of God cards and put them on the battlefield. Yeah. I'm going to be putting this in one of my decks. And then you've got a shiny Axe Guard Cavalry. Because, you know, he's riding a goat. But that looks pretty cool. Like, with his art and everything and the fire. It's, like, exploding back there. So, that's cool. World Tree for you. Very nice. Thank you again, Graylin. I hope these are spicy and things you don't have. And let's go through your comments in this pack. Very nice so far there. Kaya's Onslaught again. Lit Jar Mirror Lake. Return Upon the Tide, and your rare is Arnie Broken Brow Showcase. Very nice. Yep, so you got Arnie Broken Brow, which he obviously headbutted a troll there. And as you can see, he's got the uh, horn still in his head. Uh, really cool, the alternate art kind of showing what he's able to do. And he's pretty nasty. He's in a deck I'm building right now as well. All right, Graylin, here's your next pack for you. And your commons. Village Rights is always good. I like that card a lot. That Raven's creepy. 
We have Crush the Weak. Look at that. <laughs> Just the whole time. There we go. Carter Doom Scourge. Building this deck right now through TikTok and everything. And then, bam, Finn the Fang Bear in the same pack. If you haven't built an EDH deck on these guys, there you go. Good starting point. Roll into your rare Battle of Frost and Fire. Gee, that kind of sounds like Game of Thrones. But <laughs> I think that's a good pack right there with those guys. Especially if you don't have them in building that deck. There you go. All right, Braylon, next pack for you. I can't wait for Strixhaven. I don't know. How excited are you guys for Strixhaven? I am beyond excited. I got going to have opening a lot of stuff for you guys. We're going to be... Uh, I, th I think I'm Quandrix. I still got to take the uh, the quiz for it, but I'm pretty sure I'm Quandrix because I like math. So um, I think that will be where I'm going to head towards. But there's some cool spells anyway. So what are you guys looking forward to? Maybe comment below what the card is you're most excited about in Strixhaven. So here's your commons out of this pack. Another spire that's gross. All right, here we go. On Commons, Vega the Watcher. Hmm, interesting. Great Hall of Starnheim. Ruined Crown. Andrew Rare. Corvold, the God of Kinship. So we're pulling quite a few gods out of this box. So this is the God of Kinship. She's got her bears and her wolves. And people don't think she's that good, but I think she can be fun. Ring Heart Crest. Yeah, I think it should be good. I think it's cool to scale the gods. So very nice pull there. Next pack for you, Graylin. Here we go. There's your commons. Uncommon starting here. Bloodline Pretender. Valkyrie's Soar. I think it's a good card. I like the art, too. It reminds me of old magic. Nico defies destiny. And Magda. There we go. Magda Brazen Outlaw in the showcase art. So we've got a lot of showcase arts in this one, which is really cool. Uh, there's some great decks on her, being able to kind of make a dwarf deck and create treasures and sack treasures to go get dragons and artifacts. Are you kidding me? This, she is broken, absolutely broken. And then the uncommon just fell out. <laughs> so nice job there. If you don't have that, that's another one you can build a deck out of. Okay. Next pack for you as well. Hope it's spicy. And let's flip through your commons here. Ooh, Weathered Runestone. Love this card. Uh, it goes in some really good control decks. Um, specifically for me, Guafa. Kind of shut them down. Then we've got Lit Jar Glade Warden. Provoke the Trolls. And your rare is Rally the Ranks. Which, of course, has Halvar in the art. Uh, you know, it's good for white decks where you're specifically going creatures. So I think with Lorehold coming up, I would call this out. Do Spirits. Get plus one, plus one on Lorehold creatures. And then, ooh, Double Rare Pack. Foil Ascendant Spirit. Which is cool. Look at that. In the light, that's awesome. So, double rare pack there for you. Two more packs for you, Graylin. Starting off with that Fortel token. Get into your commons here. Yuck. That infernal pet's disgusting. <laughs> okay, on commons, Blood Sky Berserker, Crush the Weak, Rune of Might, and your rare, Tybalt's Trickery. Nice. Everybody still wants this card, even though it got banned. I think there's a lot of stuff we can still do with it. I'm a commander player, so I don't worry about bannings, except if they do, you know, once every couple years, ban something in commander. But still good for me. All right, Graylin, last pack. Let's see if we can't get you a Valky or a Vornflex. Um, yeah, let's see if we can't go out with a bang for you. We'll get on to David's packs. Okay, last comments for you. And we'll end the video before the uh, giveaway. We'll end the last pack by going through all the cards in the last pack, too. Just for kind of remembrance. Fearless Liberator. Trickster God's Heist. Battle, Battle Shield Warrior. And Tundra Fumarol. Interesting. Red Snow. <laughs> all right. That's your last pack. Unfortunately, nothing too spicy in there, but we get to get the Tibble's Trickery and everything, too. So, Graylin, those are your nine packs. And we got David with a big chunk of 12 right here. So David's like, yeah, I'll take 12 in that core box you did, and I'll take 12 more in the call time one. Like, okay, sure. So uh, after this, guys, we're going to be going heavy in the strict saving. So I hope you're ready. I was hoping to get more pre this kits so I could, uh, you know, specifically open pre this kits for each person. So if you specifically wanted to, but the supply was so low, um, it, it was bad. And the prices were going up so quickly that it would have been like $40 a kit. Which I still can get if somebody wants, and you do if you do want pre-release kits. Um, 
I can order them from some places still, but unfortunately they've gone all the way up to forty dollars, and I just it's out of control. But uh, so I have some, but not many. So here's your commons, uh, David, for your first pack here. All right, uncommons we're going into right now. Skimfar Shadow Mage, Giant's Amulet, Three Seasons, and your rare is several for the Realm Eater. Very nice. This one's cool. I like it in the other art more, um, just because of the emphasis on the size. On this, uh, Sauros looks at the size of the trees exactly. So as far as the humans that would be underneath, they don't look like they'd be only about this tall. Um, but in the alternate art, it's definitely more immense looking. So David, there's your first pack. Ooh, there we go. Emblem. I always think good things happen when you get an emblem, so. Or a goblin token, but that's just me. And I guess there's no goblins on Kaldheim because they'd get too cold. All right, here we go. Cole the Forge Master, RIP. Shepherd of the Cosmos. Elven Bow, good card. And your rare is Dark Boar Pathway. Very nice. Very cool. Dark Boar Pathway into the Slither Boar Pathway, which, of course, is from the Cosmos Serpent, leading a trail in there. So very cool. That's a pathway for you. That's a good pack there. Next pack for you, David. And again, I want to thank all six of you for coming by. And we'll be giving away that Tarmogoyce here at the end. So I hope it is something you're looking for there. So here we go, your commons. Ooh, that's disgusting. Okay, uncommons, Divine Gambit. Ooh, Herald King of Skemfar for you. That's nice. Lit Jar Mirror Lake. And your rare is the Cyclone Summoner. He summoned Cyclones, and he got Pass of the World Tree in the foil. So that's a cool pack. Very nice. All right, here we go. Next pack for you, David. And let's go through these here. Bum, bum, bum. That's things disgusting still. Okay, Maja Bredegard Protector, the Brizard Brawl. Blizzard Brawl, Blizzard Brawl, Gates of Istfel, and your rare is Eradicator, Valkyrie, Mythic, very nice, 4-3 four, uh, four, for 4, Flying Lifelink, Hexproof from Planeswalkers, Boast, Sack the Planeswalker Creatures, or Sack a Creature, each point sacks a Creature or Planeswalker, so uh, I like that Boast on that, um, just do it at the end of your turn and just go ham, sacrifice some Boreal Outriders or Foil there, so yeah. There's our other mythic we're looking for in the box. So we think we're at three right now. So we should see at least one more in your pile, if not two, depending on how the odds are. Just depends. Let's hope for the big, big V there. All right, here we go. Your commons. Make sure you feed the serpent. Okay, go into our uncommons. Clarion Spirit. Blizzard Brawl. Colossal Plow. And... Ah, there he is, Big Daddy V, with the Valor of the Worthy right in there, too. Vorn Klex has made his appearance. Look at that. Let's get him into the sleeve right away for you. So we're hoping we're going to get at least one more Mythic in the box, and there he is, Mr. Vorn Klex, Monstrous Raider. He still has one extra arm here. Uh, he did lose an arm in the fight with Kaya, so he has one arm down, but he did uh, kind of infect Tybalt at the same time, so... He's a 6-6 six, six for 6 with Trample and Haze. He's a nasty Phyrexian Praetor. Uh, so here's the other thing that is interesting, because they legendary creatured him, and they named him Phyrexian Praetor. And I don't remember off the top of my head, but I believe all the others were just called Praetors uh, as their creature type before. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe it said Phyrexian Praetor, and this leads me to believe that they are obviously going to bring back all the Phyrexians, and this is going to have to do with Ashiok invading... Uh, Elspeth's dreams, and we're going to see all the uh, Praetors once again, maybe except Urbras, because he did side with the humans in the end, so we'll see. But we will be definitely seeing them all again. So that's a nice pack, and uh, double Mythic back-to-back -back there. So so all these packs in here. I'm sure we're going to crack at least something else good. I bet you we see at least one more god. Yep, I bet you we see at least one more god in these packs, because we've been seeing a lot of gods so far. So here's your commons. Boop, 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 boop. Disgusting art again in that one. Always feel like that bird's eating somebody's eye. Okay, let's get into these. Poison the cup. This looks like Amonkhet to me. I don't think this should have been in this set at all. This looks like Amonkhet art. Bredegard Stronghold. 
Dwarven Hammer, and your rare is Doomscar. Heck yeah, this card's gonna go up in value. I think it's on mid range, like six, seven dollars. I don't know what it is at right now, but sure, all creatures for five is already good. But then if you foretell it too, like I feel like that's just good board wipe. It's become my new staple board wipe in a lot of decks, or just an extra board wipe to take care of the problems. Okay, let's get into the back. Do do yuck. <laughs> Anything with spiders is usually disgusting. Frostbite, Binding of the Old Gods, Draugr's Helm, Frostbire Arcanist, and Fruitforge Champion. Very nice. Ooh, and a shiny Crush the Weak. Look at that. You can see the art on the arm there. But there's the Runeforge Champion. I don't know if Runeforge is ever going to be that good because um, you can only tutor for runes. So unless they do runes again at another point, I don't feel like, I don't feel like he's going to go anywhere above bulk rare. Unfortunately. All right, next pack for you, David. Go through your comments here. Okay, Rune of Mortality. Clarion Spirit. Inga Rune Eyes alternate art. Look at that. I like that one so much more than the regular art. Look, that's just amazing. And you're rare. Reckless Crew. I feel like it's the Seven Dwarves from the old card, and they just got on a boat. <laughs> so Reckless Crew is your rare in that pack. I still think we, that Wizards made a big mistake when they did make that Seven Dwarves card, and they didn't make seven different versions of it, and then say you could have up to seven versions of it in your deck. I think that was a big ball drop on their part. We could have had more fun with that. <laughs> okay, next pack for you, David. Your commons. Village Rights is still good, of course. Struggle for Scamfar. The Brothers, of course. Some snowy cards. And then we go into Dual Strike. Ooh, Svela Ice Shaper. A lot of good stuff you can do with that one. Not Vold Slumber Mound. And Cosmos Elixir, which is a card I know everybody is sick of seeing. But begin your end step. Draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. So, yeah, you could do some stuff with that. Draw a card and your turn. Might keep your hand size up at least. Okay, commons for this pack. We haven't seen a coma yet. Maybe we can pull a coma still in this box. Ascent the Worthy. Rune of Mortality. Sword Land Frostpire. Did I say we're going to pull another god? That's right, we did pull another god. And there's... Oh, there we go. See? That's what I'm talking about. If I say there's going to be another god. There's Maja Brita Guard Protector in the alternate art and foil. That's nice looking. Already that's cool. But then there's Egon, the god of death. Of course, the other side being the Throne of Death. I think this is awesome. So, I said we were going to pull another god in this box, and we did it. So, there's another god heading towards David. Pretty good so far. I'd say you did pretty well on your packs, David. Hope you can see this and enjoy all your pulls. Two packs left. Here we go. Yep, that's pretty good. Find the monster. Squash it. Rune of Might for you. Judge of Valor. Really cool. Look at that art. By God Machine. Basalt Ravager. And your rare is Immerster and Predator, the Vampire Dragon. I think this is a good card, too. 3-3 three, three for 4 with flying. When it becomes tapped, exit up the one target card from a graveyard and put one counter on Immerster and Predator. Sacrifice another creature. It gains indestructible until end of turn. So, sack a creature you don't need. Use it for what it's good. Then get it out of your graveyard. Put the counters on this guy. He starts flying and starts taking over. And Draugr Necromancer. So double rare with a foil. Very nice. Good way to go there. So that's cool. And last pack for David. And then we will move the cards aside here and get to our giveaway. Boop. Okay, here we go. Last pack. Let's we'll roll all the cards for one last time. A null. God's Hall Guardian. Immersturm Raider, Scorn Effigy, Jaspara Sentinel, Dread Rider, Horizon Seeker, Depart the Realm, Iron Verdict, Run Ashore, Hailstorm Valkyrie is the first uncommon, Morite of the Frost, Avalanche Caller, and our final rare, Blood on the Snow. Destroy all creatures, destroy all planeswalkers.
Here we go. And no shiny to end it, but that's okay. So I think David just would say that's still an okay way to go out, considering what he got when his pulls there with Big Daddy V and an Egon in his piles. So those are the piles right there. Let me get those sent out to everybody. Let's get the old laptop out here now. And let's see. Let's make sure everything's working here for it. Yeah, volume is maxed. So we have six people, of course. Make sure I have these all names all right. Yep, Brandon, Robert, Justin, David, Devin, and Graylin. So those are six participants. No matter how many packs they bought, it was everybody could get an entry automatically into getting the Tarmogoy straight from Time Spiral. It's straight from Pack, Pack Fresh, never been used or anything like that. So it is a nice Tarmogoy. Um, so one of these people is going to be taking this home. So without further ado, again, thank you all for coming by. Let's get to who the winner is going to be and enjoy the show. So here we go. Brandon! And then all of a sudden, the computer went down. <laughs> Brandon is the winner. All right, congratulations, Brandon. Don't know why that thing just did that. I must have hit it because it's touchscreen. All right, so Brandon is the winner of the Termogoy, so that's going over to his pile. And again, thank you guys for coming by for probably the last box call time for some time. Maybe we'll get into it later again after Strixhaven and Modern Horizons 2 kind of get into it again so thank you all for coming by if you enjoyed the content a thumbs up is always appreciated hit that bell if you want to know more about what's going on and be uh, notified every time we do a video and uh, email us or leave a comment below if you like the content want to see some different things want to be involved with any of this um, we do i'd say at least a box a week um just because of work schedules and things but we do some other stuff in between too so thank you guys again for coming by and we hope you enjoyed yourselves today on cranko's corner <laughs>